Who's that? Hello? Hey. I'm still decorating my tree. All of those lights right there, all of those don't work because it's a pre-lit tree. So I'm going to have to put lights on it anyway. Like, seriously. So I'm trying to figure out how to use this camera to make sure that I'm in the freaking shot. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so today we are going to do wedding stuff. Now my mom just called me. Really, mom? What you got with your hair? Turn around. Mom with her twists. <laughs> Mom's house is dark. Bad lighting. Oh, look at the tree. Mom, it looks so pretty. Can't you turn the light on? Mom, don't be playing y'all with her electric bill. <laughs> look at the tree. It's so pretty. The lighting isn't good. Is it real? Uh -huh. Mom with the real tree? Uh -huh. Oh, Sue. Sue. Yeah, so she has a tree farm and she invited Taylor and Sky to come there. I wish I knew that. <laughs> you, how much did you pay for that? 55. That's not bad, it right? It was already cut down. We got it over there by um. It looks really pretty. That's the second time we had to do it, Doug. Why? Because Wednesday morning I got up, it was in the floor. <gasps> are you serious mm -hmm. y'all didn't even hear it fall mm -hmm. did I you guys out. hear that mom I, said her tree fell i came out to go get a towel washcloth out of the linen closet i seen these bulbs laying on the floor i said wait a minute then i looked the tree was on the floor oh my god that is crazy <laughs> all right so i figured that you probably just wanted me over here because you want to do wedding planning is that why you call me? No, I haven't seen you in a while. No, Mom, no. really? Is that why you call me? No. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I knew that's why you called me, so I bought the wedding plan, and, um, like the printout. Okay. And I don't want to stay here, so I figured we could go to Acorn. All right. I got to do something in my head. No, you don't. You keep you twisting. But anyway, you guys, this is my mom's house, and we're about... Why do I still have my glasses on? I'm such a diva sometimes. No, I'm not a diva. I really didn't realize that I had them on. Uh, this is her kitchen, which her kitchen is kind of nice. I guess it is nice. She's What color? Um, a real light gray, trimmed in white. So instead of stay, staying in the house and do planning, we're going to go have lunch at our little favorite, you know, hometown restaurant. It's called Acorn Market. They have the best salads, everything's super fresh. They grow everything themselves. The owner is amazing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do some wedding planning there. I know I haven't did a wedding vlog in a long time because honestly, I haven't really been doing much. Um, I have all the contracts except the venue, which I told you guys is so important, but I was just back and forth about which venue I wanted. And because I'm not the type of bride who cares about the date, <laughs> as long as I have a year to plan, I don't care. So I'm a very laid back bride, so that's why I'm not too concerned with venues. Um, because I know whatever date they have available, I'm gonna take it. I'm not gonna like be upset if someone took a date that I had in mind. That's just not me. Um, and that is my tip about wedding planning. I think that you should be laid back. Like, yes, it's a big day, but who wants to be stressed out about a wedding? Um, you know, this is my personality about everything. I'm very laid back and chill. I try not to let anything bother me too much. Um, I think that's the best way to be in life. You think, don't be a bridezilla for what? Um, because it's just, I mean, it's a wedding. It's important. But you don't need to stress about it. You don't need to be mean to people. Because every bride that I've talked to, they always say they regret stressing. They regret, you know, sweating the small stuff. And I think the reason why I'm not that way is because, I mean, I plan events or I've planned events. And, 
you know, it's not like this is my first thing I'm ever planning. So I guess I feel like I'm kind of seasoned when it comes to events. And even though the wedding is a big deal, to me it's just like planning another event, you know. Guys, we were just about to go to Acorn Market because their salads are bomb. But there's so many people here. Like seriously, there's no parking spots. We found one, but it is like filled in them all yes <laughs> um so now we're gonna go to our next favorite spot which is panera you like panera right oh. i love panera i always get their um frontega i like the, I like the french onions oh it was good So you guys, I don't know if I showed you guys, but this is our wedding logo. Y R and D B. I don't know. Should I think I should have put Devin's initials first? Am I supposed to put his initials at the top? I don't think it matters. Oh. But anyway. So this is like everything that I've um, started writing. So on this planner, I have it separated by months. So everything that you're supposed to do 10 to 12 months before. It's a lot of stuff that you're supposed to do. And then six to nine months. And I have like inspiration on here. And I have this on my computer, but I printed it out because I know my mom is old school. And then like with colors, all simple, black and white. Three to five months out. And there's my makeup inspiration. And six to eight weeks. I don't know, we gotta plan, execute. And so yeah, so I saw her at Marshall's and I went up, she was my the, the checkout person and I was like, oh my god, you look so familiar and then she was like looking at me weird and I was like, no, you really look so familiar, I don't know where I know you from and I just was like staring at her and then I was like, oh. I was like, duh, point. And she, and she still didn't remember me. Because I had a straight wig on. And you know, when we met her, I had the big old girl. So um, I was like, yeah, duh, point. I was like, oh my God, we still love that spot. And then she remembered me. I was like, you usually see me with the fro. And she's like, oh yeah. It's like in vlog number one, the venue is most important. And um, yeah. We're still working on the venue. <laughs> I mean, we know which venue we want now, but we got to um, put the deposit down, which the deposit is usually half of the, the actual fee. Um, and, yeah. Is that all we talked about? And who was going to give you away? Oh, yeah. Okay, that would be interesting, too. Interesting topic. Okay, so, I'm trying to get my mom in the footage a little bit, but she doesn't really want to be on camera. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. It'll just be me. All right, so the topic, which is an interesting topic for this vlog, so it's not boring. Um, the other discussion we were having, and mom, you can we can still re-have the discussion. Mom doesn't understand vlogging. She doesn't like repeating herself sometimes, but you got to, right? All right, so the topic is if you have a step-parent. So my dad was in my life until I was about, what grade, third? Mm -hmm. Like around third grade, is it? Mm -hmm. Wow, I don't even know how I remember that. But yeah, until third grade. And um, he was still a part of my life. Like I went to summer with him. Like I used to spend the whole summer with him at his new place. And um, I don't know. I even lived with him for a little while. Like a really little while. And then I came back home. Um, but yeah, so he's still been a part of my life. But once I was an adult, he wasn't because, you know, college, military, and different places. So we weren't really connected. So I had what when did Frank come in the picture? 
96. So he was in my life. I had a stepdad. We did not get along. Like, so did not get along. I never liked having a stepdad. And so mom thinks that I should... Well, at first mom thought that I should do both. Like, have my dad first meet in the middle and then Frank takes me the rest of the way. But at the same time, to me, that doesn't make sense a little bit because... That me that just doesn't sound right to me. That seems like Frank would be giving me away, not my dad. But but the other So part... I was thinking sorry mom. <laughs> I was thinking because that doesn't make sense. To me that's like my dad saying, I don't want to be your dad anymore in the middle and then Frank is my dad who gives me away. I don't think that sounds right. So I was thinking that my dad should start and meet Frank in the middle and then they both take me to the end because I don't like the whole hands-off thing it's so confusing it's so hard to deal with this because somebody's probably gonna get mad regardless of what I do so for the table numbers we figured we would get um, these um, picture frames although they don't look like we want them to look the um, design is what we want. So we're going to spray paint these gold and then have a black and white um, table number, like sh black and white stripes with a gold number mm -hmm. to match the gold frame for every table. And you guys know we need to do this on a budget because we're not going to use these ever again. So why not come to Dollar Tree? And look how much they cost a dollar each so we needed 13 of them for 13 tables yeah, like old. you don't have to be bougie and get $15 frames like that's ridiculous you know so we're saving a lot of money and you know even though we have bigger things to be doing right now like paying for the venue <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also important that if it's something really small that you can check off your list without a problem, then get those things done. So these are the charging plates. Is that what it's called, Mom? Charger plates, yeah. Charter? Charger. Charger? Uh -huh. <laughs> these are the charger plates, and since my colors are black white and gold mom figured we should have these um for the accent and they're a dollar each so and you know what else we there we just raided the store for all their gold charger plates <laughs> so now we're gonna go to every other dollar tree oh if you guys are wondering we're at dollar tree saving money but it's gonna look classy Guys, this is the venue. Right now, don't mind the Christmas decorations. <laughs> Through here is where um, the banquet area really is. But now really it's. Really okay, so mom said we'll put the place cards here so people know where they need to sit. Down this hallway is like the bridal room down there where we can get dressed. I think we should just keep it the full. Would be the head table, but it actually would take up that whole wall. And then on this wall would be like the cake table. We have all of our plates, our charger plates for the wedding. We decided to buy them since they were just a dollar each. So, our accent of gold. We literally went to every Dollar Tree, didn't we? Mom, how many do we have? Like, no, we uh, have. Infinity? Um, we have 62. No, all together it's 126. Uh -huh. Oh my god, really? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this 
um, updated vlog on my wedding planning. For my next vlog, let me know what you guys want me to do. Do you want me to do a Q&A or another vlog or help you design or best websites? Like, tell me what you guys want to know so I'll have an idea of what to do on the next one. Um, so if you guys do want it to be a Q&A or regardless, if you have any questions, leave them below. And yeah, I can't wait to film again for you guys. All right. Bye.